Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to start off by giving all praise to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachahakwarash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule well. And as always, we give peace and salutations to the elect. All right. And the elect are in this order. All right. The tabernacle of David under Yahweh Shai, which is the first fruits, the 144,000 men. All right. Whom the Lord have chosen and foreordained to be in that very position. All right. And also peace and salutations to the large multitude. The rest of the men, women, and children whom the Lord will have mercy on. And that's ultimately what I wanted to speak on today. Now, the name of the Most High God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is Yahweh, Bahashem, and the name of Yahweh Shai, the name of the only begotten Son of the Most High, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. All right, Bahashem, in the name of Rechakwadash, the Holy Spirit that has been sent down onto the earth. All right, starting with the men to go out and teach this word, all right, so that the elect can hear the word, all right, the elect who were blessed with ears to hear and eyes to see can hear the word and come back, all right, to the heavenly father through the sacrifice made by Yahawashai, in which he sent down the comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, all right, into our minds so that we can go out and preach this word. Now, what I wanted to deal with is um, this whole doctrine that all of the 144,000 are not men. And this all stems from the misunderstanding and the, and the wickedness and the witchcraft that the devil has put out there as concerning the role of women. All right. And the role of men. All right. And it's crept over into Israel. And now you have women. Who are saying they can stand up in the stead of men. Now, women do have a very beautiful role and order within the nation of Israel. Okay. But a lot of you women, okay, and you men want it this way too. A lot of you women think that once everything is said and done, you'll be at the forefront of giving and issuing out orders in the kingdom of heaven with a whistle in your hand. And that's just not gonna be, okay? You're you're not going to be one of the 144,000, which is the governing body, which are the men, okay, who the Lord have chosen from the foundation of the earth for the very duties of what? The priesthood, to go out and prophesy, okay? Nowhere in the scriptures does it say he revealed his secrets to his servants, the prophetess, all right? It's the prophets, the men who are sent, as we always say, why did not the Messiah gather any women to be any of his disciples? Now, does that mean the Messiah is against women? Does that mean we're against women? No, we love women. All right. But women have their order in this Western civilization, in this Western society, and these feminists and all of this mess that Esau's put out there has all of you men and women in disarray because it's 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 men who also push this doctrine. You would think, well, this is just something that women push. No, there's there's men, all right, who are out there pushing this madness. And this video is not done for a purpose of a debate. We're just going to show you the truth and then we're going to move on. Because no woman is a part of the 144,000. Women are a part of the elect, which is the remnant. But the order starts with the 144,000, which are the first fruits and we'll get that revelation 14 and one and i looked and lo a lamb stood on the mount sion okay and with him a hundred and forty and four thousand having his father's name written in their foreheads now what does sion represent in hebrew is to one okay but what does it represent the hill on which the higher and more ancient part of Jerusalem was built, okay, often used for the entire city of Jerusalem, since Jerusalem, because the temple stood there, was called the dwelling place of God, okay? Now, as we continue on in this lesson, you'll understand why I brought this out, all right? And then the Hebrew word, Tzaya 1, okay? And... It says parts place 
speaking of Jerusalem, okay? Then Tazai Yawan, signpost monument, okay? The Most High's monument, who he will remember. But remember, we're going to rule out of Jerusalem. So as you see, this scripture talk about Yahweh Shai and the 144,000 standing upon Mount Zion. This is the governing body of the kingdom of heaven, man. Okay? All men having his father's name written in their foreheads, man. Okay? And these were given the new song, but we'll explain that later. Now, I want to first start with this in 1 Corinthians, the 11th chapter, because it seems as though whatever, no matter what the scriptures say, our people are going to find some sort of loophole, all right, bringing up uh, uh, Miriam, all right, which the, the uh, elder Manata Zakba did a video on what is a prophetess. Women can receive visions. Women uh, 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 did do things within the nation of Israel when you go into our history. Like a lot of you bring up uh, uh, Deborah, all right, but it was actually Barak, all right, whom she uh, helped and who was at the forefront of that thing, man. But at the end of the day, in Esau society is where you all get messed up at. This is why we have to sink the old path, man. You can't understand the scriptures and try to view it through a Western civilization way of doing things in mind frame you'll lose out you'll be overly emotional emotional and you'll lose and this is what happens with a lot of our people all right the old way women would never do some of the things that they're doing all right in this society and get away with it in the old path women would never seek to usurp authority over over the priest over the over the king and when they did they were dealt with Jeremiah 31 and 22 how long will thou go about O thou backsliding daughter for the Lord have created a new thing in the earth a woman shall compass a man and you see that order within Esau's setup and you want to bring that order into Israel and it ain't gonna work it ain't gonna happen that's why I say this is not an argument it's not a debate I'm not doing this for you to make a response and I make a response this is just the order and will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, which the majority of you women have no understanding on what the tabernacle is, what it represented or anything, man. But we're going to go into it, you know, and this is for those women who are in that bugged out order. You women who are trying and, you know, doing what you got to do, it's all good. You know, you just, you know, they continue praying and doing what you can do for the church and, you know, getting yourself together. That's good. But for you women who are out there starting these Instagram movements and <laughs> doing all of this stupidity, you know, <laughs> at the end of the day, we'll see. I'll just say it like that. We'll see. But Esau's way of doing things has messed up you Israelites' perspective on the Most High, man. Jeremiah 6 and 16 says what, man? Thus saith the Lord, stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old paths. Where is the good way? And walk therein, and ye shall find rest for your souls. The reason why a lot of you Israelites don't have rest, and you're constantly here, we're at the very end, and you're still trying to create new doctrines, and you hate the way of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Now, what did the Lord do to you? Are not his way, his ways ain't perfect? But they said, we will not walk therein i have set watchmen over you saying hearken to the sound of the trumpet but they said we will not hearken watch men okay watchmen tazapa to look out and we're the ones who are looking out okay under yahweh shai because we watch for your souls man but you keep choosing Esau's way over the way of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and just watch what happens, man. All of these arguments are null and void because at the end of the day, all 144,000 men, all right, of the 144,000, 
will be the priest and kings that will reign and rule in the government under, under the Messiah. And we'll get that. Be ye followers of me, 1 Corinthians 11 and 1, even as I am of Hamashiach. Now I praise you, brethren. All right, notice a lot of these uh, 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 letters, you notice they're speaking to the brethren. All right, what did, what, did, what, did, uh, what did the scripture say? Ye men of Israel hear these words. Okay, and we'll show you the Messiah. All right, he went out to gather men. Now, did women believe on him? Absolutely. All right, but he did not send women out. All right, to go and preach his word. Okay, on the highways and the byways and be at the forefront of things. Yes, women have their lot. They can teach other women. They can teach the children. But women are not to be at the forefront. All right, cursing out other men. Like like this chick here. As a matter of fact, let me <laughs> this chick here, I call her the brat. Now let's listen to her. Cause she's a prime example. Now she's all mad. You know, she actually makes me laugh, man. But she's all pissed off. She's an ex member of GOCC. She's bugged out of her mind. But she says the, the women can do the exact thing that the men do. Let's listen to a little bit of this. Then we'll get back to those scriptures. Where, where is that scripture that the Lord revealed to secrets to the to the to the his servants the prophetess no he said to his servants the prophets whom he is raising up all right now you can you know find this woman messenger of heaven if you want to get a laugh like she'll go out you know <laughs> and she's just pissed off at GMS at the everybody so she'll go out on the highways for like 28 second 52 seconds walking back and forth they are hebrews on youtube that would not tell you what i'm telling you because they got a problem with female in and in, in, in authoritative positions deborah anna mary magdalene the sisters in the book of Acts. and they all had great roles those are beautiful women and they would not be in this spirit doing what you're doing making a fool out of yourself now let's go back here <laughs> because you say, hey, the scriptures say let the prophets be found faithful man as a matter of fact let's go back here real quick Sirach 36 and 15 give testimony unto those that thou hast possessed from the beginning and raise up prophets that have been in thy name Reward them that wait for thee and let thy prophets be found faithful. Let's see if she'll do this week in and week out. Let's see. Let's see if she's been going out week in and week out. Let's see if she proves me wrong. Nope. Four weeks ago was the last time she went out or did a video. But e either way it goes, the prophets are going to be found faithful and they're going to be men whom the Lord has put the spirit on to go out and guide the flock the right way even under the first covenant it was men who served as high priest in the temple and had the duties of the temple it was not women okay reward them that wait for thee and let thy prophets be found faithful O lord hear the prayer of thy servants according to the blessing of aaron over thy people which aaron was the high priest and now the high priest is Yahweh. All right, now going back to what we were just reading in 1 Corinthians, it's just a natural order, okay? 1 Corinthians 11 and 2. Now I praise you, brethren, that ye remember me in all things and keep the ordinances as I delivered them unto you. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Hamashiach, all right? And the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Hamashiach is 
the most high God, Yahweh. You see that? That's the order. All right. Now, when we get delivered, let's get the book of First Corinthians, the 15th chapter. Okay. First Corinthians, the 15th chapter. And we're going to start at. Okay. At the 23rd verse. Start at 22. For as in Adam all die, but so in Hamashiach shall all be made alive. But every man in his own order, Hamashiach the first fruits. See that? Hamashiach the first fruits. Afterward, they that are Hamashiachs that is coming. And that's when the kingdom is going to come. So let's see who the first fruits are. Let's see if this will. Uh, Revelation 14. Revelation 14 and 4. Speaking of the 144,000, these are they which were not defiled with women, other philosophies, for they are virgins, all right, chosen from the foundation of the earth to get the victory. These are they which follow the Lamb whithersoever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto the God and unto the Lamb, and in their mouth was found no God, for they are without fault before the throne of God. And then it goes uh, and shows you what their message would be. Okay, and one of the, uh, the big part of their message, all right, uh, would be not to take the mark of the beast as you read down. All right, they have the everlasting gospel to preach. All right, and the angels is working through them now. It says the, the first fruits, these are the first fruits. Okay. The first fruits, and the Greek word is a parke. All right. The first fruits. All right, and we'll just go to the point. Persons superior in excellence to those of the same class. All right, now if the basic order is the most high, the Messiah, the man, and then the woman. How much more within his government? The 144,000 of first fruits are men, even when the Messiah came on the scene. Okay? Who did he gather? He gathered men. All right? Now, through those men's mighty works and through his mighty works, women followed him. All right? But who did he gather? This is John, the uh, the 17th chapter. I'm going to just jump to the point. John 17 and 6. I have manifested thy name unto the men, unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Dime they were, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept thy word. Okay, so as you read this, he's praying for the first fruits. Now, on earth, it was uh, uh, 12, and then you had even more. You had hundreds of disciples, you see. But the 12 were ultimately the direct followers of him. And then we know Judas, all right, uh, was put out. You had another uh, disciple, uh, I believe Mattathias, come in. All right, but ultimately, the 12 were his direct followers. That's the order. Even when you get Revelation 21, as we will, it's showing you that very order when it's speaking of the temple and tabernacle of the Heavenly Father. And I remember years ago, um, this Israelite chick was saying that women are a part of the 144. And I started asking her basic questions about the temple, the tabernacle, and everything. And she had no idea. So most people who are making this argument are just arguing. Okay? They don't really understand the scriptures. And they just want to make the, the, the truth about some women's revolution and Women could do this. Women could do that. Shut the hell up. All right. John 17 and 6. The men. All right. Or who the Messiah came and gathered. All right. The men. Now, as you read down. Okay. He's speaking about them. For I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me. And they received them. Have known surely that I have came out of thee. And they believe the speaking of the men. Now, where do the women come in at? When you jump down, just just watch, just read this whole chapter. He's talking about sanctifying them through the truth. He's praying for those men, which we know overall it's 144,000 that follow him from the foundation of the earth. Okay? As you go down, 
verse 20 says, neither I pray for these alone, neither I pray for the, 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 the first fruits alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their words. So yes, women are a part of the elect. Okay, women are written in the book of life, but women are not a part of the 144,000, which is the order, okay, in government under Yahawashai, the kings and priests that will reign on the earth. Okay, <laughs> get that, Revelation 5. Okay, Revelation 5 and 10, and it has made us unto our God kings and priests. Okay, and that's what we're going to get into, the temple, the tabernacle, the priest. Okay, and we shall reign on earth. Where's the queens in this? Now, women, all right, under the 144,000, all right, will have the law, statutes, and commandments written in their inward part, just as will, you know, the uh, common men and children and everybody else in Israel. But the order of how it all is issued out is under Yahweh Shai and the 144,000, man. Because those are the one who would make the major sacrifice. Okay? Under Yahweh Shai sacrifice, the 144,000 are sacrifices chosen from the foundation of the earth for the, for the purpose of the ministry to go out and preach this word. Revelation 21, okay, and one, and I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away and there was no more sea, all right, so the, the heaven will be refreshed, the earth will be refreshed, everything will be refreshed, okay, and this rulership that we see here, where men, women are rebelling against the men and all of that is going to be no more, okay, Verse 2, and I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Okay? New Jerusalem. Okay? And let's prove that this is not speaking of an actual city. Isaiah 52 and 1, awake, awake, put on thy strength, O Zion. Okay? which is the monument of the Heavenly Father, where the temple was, the city of David, all right, where all 12 tribes acknowledged David as king, and his, his, his tabernacle, his throne was continued through his son Solomon for 40 years of peace. Okay, the Lord remembers that. Okay? Put on thy beautiful garments, O Jerusalem. Now, can a city, an actual city, put on a garment? The holy city... For henceforth there shall no more come into thee the uncircumcised or the unclean. Shake thyself from the dust, arise, and sit down, O Jerusalem. Loose thyself from the bands of thy neck, O captive daughter of Zion. Okay? And we know that Israel is likened unto a comely and delicate woman. All right? And it starts with the men. All we're dealing with is the order of the Heavenly Father, man. And if you got a problem with it, then you got a problem with Yahweh Bashim Shai, man. Revelation 21 and 2. And I, son, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And this is the elect, all right? The 144,000, we're going to show you, coming down, all right, to take rulership of the earth, man. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men. What does this mean? You asked the majority of you what this meant. You, didn't, you wouldn't know what the hell this is talking about. Because remember, Moses built a tabernacle, all right, where the high priest would go. Okay, and which one of those high priests were women? Show me when a woman was uh, uh, able to to go into the Holy of Holies, okay, uh, uh, behind the veil and commune with the Heavenly Father. Moses built you a tabernacle because that tabernacle was what? 
represented the direct presence of the Most High on earth. All right. Then Solomon built a temple to, 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 to sit on the throne of his father, David. Okay. And what did that represent? The direct dwelling of the Most High on earth. But the third temple is going to be men. And it's the 144,000. Okay. All men of all of the 12 tribes of Israel. Because what did the Lord say? I dwell not in temples made with hands. Okay. We are the temple. And that starts with, all right, because uh, Jerusalem where the temple was represented what? The law going forth. You see? And the law is going to go forth, all right, of New Jerusalem, starting under Yahweh Shai with the throne of David, his men, okay? And David's at the forefront of that, okay? He's the head disciple under he who will sit on the throne. Acts 7 in 48, how be it the most high dwelleth not in temples made with hands, saith the prophet. Okay? 17 and 24, Acts. God made the world and all things there, and seeing that he is the Lord of heaven and earth, dwelleth not in temples made with hands. So that tabernacle that Moses, uh, uh, you know, built, the tabern, the, 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 the uh, temple that Solomon built were all symbolic of something that will come greater, man. Now, I have this uh, article real quick off of a website called MyJewishLearning.com. And it says, what was the tabernacle? Mashkan. Now, as you keep, as you read down, it gives you a little history. It tells you what the tabernacle uh, looked like. The, 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 the root word means to dwell. All right. Now, how is the Lord going to dwell with the nation of Israel in this new covenant? He will write his laws in our inward part. There's an order, okay, to how that's all going to go down, okay? Every man in his own order, as it says in 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter, okay? There's order dealing with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Now, as you go down, the tabernacle significance. The tabernacle was considered to be the place where God's presence dwelled among the Israelites. Okay? <laughs> and Yahweh and the 144,000 will be that tabernacle. Where the, 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 the divine and earthly realm met, met. So basically on earth as it is in heaven. Because there is a tabernacle in the heavens. Okay, who's the high priest in the heavens? Melchizedek, the, the priest of the Most High God. Okay, and then you have his men, those souls which are under the altar, who were chosen to be sacrifices, all right, who eventually would come down to the earth and preach at particular times. Well, that tabernacle, okay, will, will rule on the earth in the kingdom of heaven, but this time it will be men. The tabernacle's design physically represented a gradual increase in gradations of holiness from the outer courtyard meant to be the barrier of the profane realm. The Holy of Holies only entered once a year by the high priest. Various commentaries interpret the significance of the tabernacle in different ways. Um, the ma Maya Mondes called the tabernacle an image of royal of the royal palace. It, it is because when Moses got that understanding on how to build the tabernacle, where did he get it from? The heavens. So he saw the tabernacle in the heavens and how it was, and on earth he built one, man. Okay, but this is where the law went forth from, man. The law so, shall go forth of Jerusalem. You see that? So the 144,000 will now take place or precedence under Yahweh Shai over this tabernacle, over this physical building. And the law will issue forth from them. Okay? Let's see here. The tabernacle versus the temple. The holy temple in Jerusalem first built in 957 BCE by King Solomon became... The permanent sanctuary for the Israelites' worship 
to worship God until it was destroyed, rebuilt, and later destroyed again. The tabernacle was portable, was the portable sanctuary they used while wandering in the desert. But now there's going to be the tabernacle that dwelleth with men. Okay, the, the, the third temple, all right, as the heathens say, it's an actual physical temple, but the third temple, all right, is the believer starting with his 144,000. You see? That's why it says in the book of Haggai, let's see here, Haggai chapter 2. And nine, the glory of this latter house shall be greater than of the former, saith the Lord of hosts. And in this place will I give peace, saith the Lord of hosts, man. And that's Yahweh Shai in the 144,000, man, which are men. Okay. Yep. Acts 7 and 46, who found favor before God and desired to find a tabernacle for the God of Jacob, but Solomon built him a house. Howbeit the Most High dwelleth not in temples made with hands, as said the prophet. So he's going to dwell in his men. Now, under that first tabernacle, Moses received the instruction on how to build it based upon what the Lord showed him for 40 days and 40 nights in a mount. Okay, and when he built that, Okay, just giving you a little history. When he built that, there was a particular way. Look, it talks about the length of the curtain shall be 8 and 20 cubits. It's just breaking it down. Uh, Moses built the first tabernacle. You know, as you go down, it talks about the veil. See that? See that? And thou shalt make a veil of blue and purple and scarlet. And fine twin uh, uh, linen of cunning work with cherubim shall it be made. Okay, and the veil separated what? Okay, common people from the holy of holies of the most high. No one was able to go behind that veil save Aaron and his sons. Okay, Exodus 27 and 21. In the tabernacle of the congregation without the veil, which is before the testimony, Aaron and his sons shall order it from evening to morning before Yahweh. It shall be a statue forever to their generations on behalf of the children of Israel. So only Aaron, the high priest, and his sons were able to enter into the Holy of Holies and go where the Ark of the Covenant was to what? Commune with the Heavenly Father at the mercy seat. And we know that mercy seat is symbolic of Yahweh Shai. All right, the, 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 the word and voice of the Lord. You see? Exodus 28 and 43. And they shall be upon Aaron and upon his sons when they come into the tabernacle or when they come near unto the altar to minister in the holy place that they bear not the iniquity and die. It shall be a statue of forever to him and his seed after him so it was under the first covenant it was Aaron and his sons and the Levites who were to do the duties of the priesthood okay in the temple see they had the Aaron and his sons show me a woman you like to bring up Miriam was Miriam able Miriam got turned leprous for coming up against the most high servant uh, Moses man but show me where Miriam was able to go into the Holy of Holies. All right. And that's getting me to my next point. This second covenant. Who's the high priest? Okay. And who's the priesthood? After the order of Melchizedek. And we'll show you that as men as well. And that's all this is saying in Revelation. The 21st chapter. We now have an upgraded priesthood in an upgraded tabernacle the tabernacle of god is with men he will dwell with them and they shall be his people now all israel including the women will be his people but it starts with these 144,000 men and we'll show you that and god himself shall be with them and be their god why because the law statutes and commandments 
will be written in them. Okay? Now, let's get the book of Exodus, the 30th chapter, in the 10th verse. And Aaron shall make an atonement upon the horns of it once in a year with the blood of the sin offering of atonements. Once in the year shall he make atonement upon it throughout your generations. It is a most holy unto the Lord. So that was Aaron and his sons. Those were only men. Right? Now, let's go to Hebrews, the ninth chapter. I just wanted to break something down for you real quick. All right, Hebrews 9, now it talks about the first covenant, all right? The first covenant also had ordinance of divine service and a worldly sanctuary, for there was a tabernacle made, the first wherein was the candlestick and the table and the showbread, okay? See, all of this is now fulfilled in us, all right? Lord willing, we're part of that number, the 144,000, which is the tabernacle of David, you see? We no longer have a physical temple that we need to go to. We are the temple. We are where the sacrifice under Yahweh Shah is fulfilled. All 12 tribes now have access back to the Father and could be priests, not just Aaron and his sons. They're still men, though, and we'll show you. Which is called the sanctuary. And after the second veil, the tabernacle, which is called the holiest of all. See that second veil? which had a golden scissor and the Ark of the Covenant overlaid round about with gold, wherein was the golden pot that had manna and Aaron's rod that budded in the tables of the covenant. And over it, and all of this was symbolic of what was to come under Yahawashai and the upgraded priesthood, man. And over the cherubims, the mercy seat, of which we cannot now speak of particularly. Now, when these things were thus ordained, the priest went always into the first tabernacle, accomplishing the service of God. But into the second went the high priest, only the high priest. Okay? Not even the regular priest, because you had Levite priest, then you had high priest. Went alone, and they were all men, went alone once every year without blood, which he offered himself and for the for himself and for the heirs of the people. That was the day of atonement. Now, as you read down, let's see here. Jump into verse eleven. But Hamashiach, the Messiah, being come, a high priest of good things to come, <laughs> by a greater and more perfect tabernacle, not made with hands. That is to say, not of this building. You see, not of this building. The building will now be the believers of the nation of Israel, but it starts with the 144,000. Okay, now going back up here, it talks about the second veil, which is called the holiest of all. Now let's get a little history on that. Let's look up veil. Strong's G, 2665. Katapentasma. Katapentasma. Okay. A veil, a curtain. It says the name given to the two curtains in the temple at Jerusalem. Okay. You had one and then you had another. One of them at the entrance to the temple separated the holy place from the outer court. Okay. The other veiled the holy of holies from the holy place okay so there was the outer court and then you have the holy of holies where only the high priest could go into right now when the messiah died right let's get matthew 27 matthew 27 and 50 notice something happened Matthew 27 and 50, Yahawashai, when he had cried again with a loud voice, yielded up the ghost, meaning his spirit returned back to the Heavenly Father. <laughs> All right. Now, we know that he eventually rose again. All right. But 
he, he gave up the ghost at this point. Verse 51, and behold, the veil of the temple was rent in twain from top to bottom and did quake and the rocks rent. Now, what is this symbolic of? Why is this very important? Because this now gives access to all 12 tribes, men of all 12 tribes to now go into the Holy of Holies. All right. And be high priest. That's why the scripture says the tabernacle of God is with men and he will dwell with them and they shall be his people because it starts with the sacrifice of the 144,000. Those are your high priest. Okay. Who have direct commune with Yahweh. They will sit at the table with Yahweh. No woman will be a part of that governing body. And I don't understand what what's so hard about that. What's the what's the what's the hard what, what's what, why are you mad <laughs> what are you pissed off about ezekiel 34 and 31 and ye my flock the flock of my pasture are men and i am your god saith the lord god you see the 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 men are whom he is calling to let's get that in uh proverbs but the men go out and preach. And yes, women will repent. Women are a part of the elect. Women will, you know, as the scriptures say, they will be saved in childbearing. Now, you know, a lot of you women, you know, who were raised here in America, that sounds like slavery to you. But you're going to go back to your beautiful role as a, as a mother, man. Do you know how important a mother is to a family structure? But see, we've lost all of our, our understanding of what a family is. We lost our understanding on what a uh, man is, what a woman is. You see? And now we're all confused and messed up. And we try to bring the devil's confusion unto Israel. No woman will be a part of the Lord's governing body. No woman was a part of Aaron's priesthood. No woman will be a part of the priesthood after the order of Melchizedek. Okay? Proverbs 8 and 4, speaking of wisdom, unto you, O men, I call, and my voice is to the sons of men. All right, ye men of Israel. Okay, hear these words. Acts 22 and 2 and 22. Ye men of Israel, hear these words. Isaiah 41 and 14, fear not thou worm Jacob, ye men of Israel, I will help thee. So it's the men of Israel whom the Lord is calling to be his followers, to go out and preach his message. But yes, women will repent. Women are a part of the, uh, the, uh, the uh, elect, the remnant. Ye men of Israel is who this is speaking to. Even in the book of Hebrews, let's get Hebrews 10. Hebrews 10 and 19 through 20, when Paul was speaking. Who can now enter into the Holy of Holies? Hebrews 10 and 19. Having therefore, brethren, boldness to enter into the holiest by the blood of Yahweh Shai. Brethren. Look up the word brethren. The word is Adelphos. Okay. The apostles, all men, his brothers by blood, um, brethren and the Messiah, fellow believer. You know, because uh, we all go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, so we have the same national ancestor. So speaking of the, the, the men of Israel, man, not as though women weren't listening, but it's the men whom the Heavenly Father is setting up and who, who will be the tabernacle, just as it was the, 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 the men, okay, who did the duties in the tabernacle built by Moses, okay, who did the duties in the temple built by Solomon, okay, which represented what the law going forth 
okay, where the sacrifices took place, all right, where the Ark of the Covenant was, basically the direct presence of the Most High. Now that will be fulfilled in his 144,000 men, okay? And we are doing the duties of the priests right now because we're communing with the Heavenly Father through the mercy seat, which is Yahawashai. And we're going out and telling you Israelites what to do and what not to do, what spirit to be in, giving you the breakdown. All right. Revelation 21 and 3. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, behold, the tabernacle of God is with men and he will dwell with them and they shall be his people and God himself shall be with them. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. Okay. And yes, all Israel are going to have all tears wiped from their eyes, man. But it all starts with his servants, the prophets, man. Okay. And there shall be no more death, no more sorrow, no more crying. All right. Neither shall there be any more pain for the former things have passed away. Then he said that set up on the throne. Okay, behold, I will make all things new. And he said unto me, right for these words are true. All right. Now, as you keep going. Okay. He's going to break down the temple. Now, as we saw how Solomon's temple was built, I mean, it was very, very tedious. The wall would be this high. This would be that high. You would have to have this type of wood. You would have to have this type of stones, this type of gold. How much more with the precious stones of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man, in this new upgraded temple and tabernacle? Okay? The tabernacle of David. Okay? Which one of David's mighty men were women? I wait. Revelation 21 and 10. And this is really a stupid argument because at the end of the day, men have a duty. OK, and women have a duty and, and that those duties together make us perfect. You see, but we, we're so caught up in this devil's madness that we want the woman to do the man's job. OK. And the, 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 the men to, you know, that's not the way it's going to roll in the kingdom of heaven. You're not going to jump off the, uh, the chariot and have a bonnet on with a whistle in your hand telling men what to do and where they need to go. Now, you women will have servants. All right, you will, you know, the run our businesses and all that because the kingdom of heaven is going to be a functioning business. You women are going to have plenty to do, but being a high priest will not be one of them. All right. Revelation 21 and 10, and he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain. This is the government of the most high and Yahweh Shai. Okay. And he showed me a great city, the holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven from God. Now he's going to describe what he saw. Having the glory unto God and her light was like unto a, a, a stone most precious, even the jasper stone clear as crystal. Because in the, in the old tabernacle, you would have the, the lamps. Well, we're going to be the light, the lamps. Okay. And it had a great and a wall great and high and had 12 gates and at the 12 uh, uh, gates 12 angels and the names written thereon which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel all right all 12 were men okay and what's the the, the, the tribe spring forth out of men and on the east three gates and on the north three gates and on the south three gates and on the west three gates and it had a wall of the city, and the wall of the city had 12 foundations, and in them the names of the 12 apostles of the Lamb, men. Men. That's the order. And he talked, and he that talked with me had a golden reed to measure the city and the gates thereof and the walls thereof. This is the temple of the Heavenly Father, man. No heathen is a part of this, no woman is a part of this. Why can't we, we, we can't have our glory? Damn. In the city lie at four square and the length is a large as the breadth. And he measured the city with the reed 12,000 furlongs 
the length and the breadth and the height of it are equal. Why? Because there are 12,000 out of each tribe. See that? Now, it's 144,000, 12,000 out of each tribe. Okay? Of the sons of Israel, man. Okay? Ban Yasha Allah, the sons of Israel, man. Goodness gracious. Now, it talks about the, the 12,000 out of each tribe, which cuts, you know, IUIC's madness of the tribe of Dan. But after this is a great multitude. Women are a part of that great multitude. It's going to be more women than men saved. You just ain't a part of this order. This is the priesthood after the order of Melchizedek. Goodness gracious, man. Let me see here. God damn. After the order of Melchizedek. Yep. So you have Melche you have the most high, then you have his priest, and then you have the priesthood after the order of Melchizedek, which is your Shai, man. Hebrews 7 and 11, if therefore perfection were by the Levitical priesthood, for under it the people received the law, what further need was there for another priest who should arise after the order of Melchizedek and not be called after the order of Aaron? Okay? So this whole chapter breaks it down too. You can go into it. Okay? And Yahawashai is a man. Now going back here, this is breaking down the priesthood, man, the temple. See, it's not, see, the way it's described, you would think the walls and all, but it's speaking of men, it's speaking of the 144,000 under Yahawashai, and then you, after Yahawashai, the order is the 12, and then you have the rest of the 144,000, man. Let's read it. Let's read. Okay, which one of the 12 apostles were women? Verse 16, and the city lied four square and the length is as large as a breadth. And he measured the city with the reed, 12,000 furlongs, and the length and the breadth of it are of the of it are equal. And he measured the wall thereof in hundred and forty and four cubits, according to the measure of a man, that is, of the angel. You see that? Why is that? Because Zechariah 12 tells you what? In that day shall the Lord defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and he that is a feeble among them, and that day shall be as David. Because everything starts with the men. He that is feeble among them at that day shall be as David. And the house of David, which is the tabernacle of David, shall be as God as the angel of Yahweh before them. So they're going to be on a whole nother level. All of our people are going to be on another level, but your priesthood, Yahweh Shai and the 144 are going to be miraculous. Even reading this is hard to, you know, understand how beautiful we're going to be, how we're going to look. It's all a mystery and behold, and the building of the wall was like jasper, and the city was like pure gold, like unto clear glass. All right, and then it keeps going, man. It keeps going. And I saw no temple therein, for the Lord Almighty and the Lamb are the temple of it. And the Lamb and the first fruits are connected together, man. That, that That's the temple, man. So... This, this chapter, which, you know, we can get into a deeper on another day, clearly lets you know that it's the tabernacle of the Most Highs with men. It's the men who will be of that number, not women. So, I mean, there's nothing more to say. It's nothing, you know, I, you know, it's not an argument. You know, it's a lot of scriptures, you know. The offering of David. 
Yeah, the tabernacle of David. It's all men, you know. Even when David, you know, was bringing over the Ark of the Covenant, it was the priest and the Levites that had to do particular things and sing the songs and all of that. Okay, but under this new covenant, okay, now all 12 tribes has access, okay, into the Holy of Holies, all right, to commune with the Most High at the mercy seat, which is Yahawashai. And that's how we will be kings and priests. Just like Melchizedek was king and priest, well, we're going to be kings and priest. See? Yep, Revelation 5, Revelation 1 and 6, and has made us kings and priests unto our God and to his Father, and to him be dominion forever and ever, man. <laughs> Oh man, and there's one more. You shall be all called priest. Hold up. Is it named? Yep. Isaiah 61 and 6. But ye shall be named the priests of Yahweh. Men shall call you the ministers of our God. Ye shall eat the riches of the Gentiles, and in their glory shall ye boast yourselves, man. Okay? This is speaking of the men. So, at the end of the day, I don't, I mean, I don't know what the big problem is. I mean, being saved and, you know, being put with righteous men and having your heart's desire is not enough. All right. The women want to say they can do the same thing the men can do. And it's just not true, man. So hopefully, you know, I came at it from a different angle, um, which, you know, it requires you to, you know, actually understand things that are the bible deal with how the most high operates you know and if you don't like it hey that's on you we're gonna move on to the next i'm not arguing with no no woman about if she can be of the 144 this is just for the edification of those who believe who may not have been clear on it or whatever no you will not be of the 144,000. you will not be get off the chariot telling people what to do okay now, you know, as we said, you will have servants, so you can tell them what to do. Okay? You know, once everything is set up, and we're going to be good, man. But, nah, the brat ain't going to be in the joint priest, you know, with the, the priesthood of Yahweh Bashim Shai. Shalom.